In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PancakeSwap via the Trust Wallet app. And I'll show you how to connect up your Trust Wallet, then swap, provide liquidity and stake. Plus, I'll also pop a timeline in the summary below so that you can jump to specific parts of the tutorial if you like. For more information on PancakeSwap or the Trust Wallet, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. This PancakeSwap tutorial is one that I've created in the past. However, the tutorial was using MetaMask and Ledger using a browser on the desktop. But if you don't have a Ledger, or if you don't want to use MetaMask, I'm going to show you how to connect up using your Trust Wallet app. And you can do this in two different ways. You can go across to your laptop or your PC, open up a browser and navigate to PancakeSwap. Then choose to connect in the top right hand side of the screen and simply choose Wallet Connect, where you can then scan a QR code from within your Trust Wallet. And from there you can easily follow my existing tutorial, which I'll pop in the summary below. But if you prefer to connect from inside your Trust Wallet instead, that's what we're going to be focusing on today and I'll show you how to connect using your Trust Wallet and using the DAP browser on your mobile. If you don't have access to the DAP browser from within your Trust Wallet on the likes of an iPhone, as it was removed some time ago, I've got a tutorial showing you how to add this back in, which I'll also link below. And because this is PancakeSwap, which connects to the Binance Smart Chain, you'll need some BNB in your Trust Wallet to pay for the transaction fees similar to how you'd need Ethereum to pay for gas with Ethereum-based apps. If you don't already have any BNB, you can buy this through the Trust Wallet app using third-party providers. However, this won't be the cheapest way and not a way that I'd personally use to buy my crypto. Instead, it's worth using exchanges like Binance where you'll get far better prices. Plus, they have some of the lowest fees of any exchange. If you don't already have a Binance account, then I'll pop a link in the summary below that will give you some money off your trading fees. And I've already got some BNB in my Binance account, so I'm going to withdraw that now to my Trust Wallet. So if I go to Receive from within my Trust Wallet, and then copy my address, I can then paste that in to my withdrawal over on Binance. And you'll notice this is being sent on the Binance chain here, which is significant, as we're going to need these tokens on the Binance Smart Chain for PancakeSwap, which is what I'm going to do in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead with that withdrawal now. So now that those BNB tokens are appearing in my Trust Wallet, we actually need to move these across to the Smart Chain. And there's a very simple way that you can move these across. And that's by clicking onto the three dots for More and choosing to swap to Smart Chain. You can then enter the amount that you want to swap and you'll need to pay a fee for this, so do make sure that you have enough BNB to pay for the fees. Then once you choose to swap, and send. It'll then take a few minutes to complete. But once that's all gone through, you'll see your Smart Chain BNB tokens. Plus I've also got some cake tokens in my wallet here. So let's go ahead and use PancakeSwap now on our mobile using the Trust Wallet and you'll need to head across to the DAP browser from within Trust Wallet, and then either search for PancakeSwap, or you can select it from the list here if it's appearing. And the first thing we'll do is take a look at the exchange, which is for swapping tokens. You can reach that by heading across to the menu on the left-hand side of the screen, pressing on to Trade, and then Exchange. And you may find that your wallet automatically connects up in the top right hand side of your screen, or it might disconnect from time to time, which mine actually has. If it isn't connected, you can simply press onto the connect button in the top right hand side of your screen and choose the trust wallet again. Now I've got some BNB here, which I'd like to swap for a few more cake tokens now. I'll then need to state the amount of BNB that I'd like to swap and it will show you the estimated amount that you're going to receive, and this is because there can be slippage and there's some fees to pay too. Underneath it shows you the minimum that you'll receive, and you'll find that the transaction will revert if there is a large unfavourable movement before it's confirmed. You can also see the price impact, which is the difference between the market price and the estimated price due to trade price. And then there's the liquidity provider fee at 0.25%, 
which mostly goes to the liquidity providers, which we'll take a look at earning in a moment. Then when you're happy, you can swap, where you'll see a confirmation of your order. And if, like me, you've taken a little bit of time to do this, you may need to accept a price update here before you can confirm your swap. Then you'll be prompted to confirm that swap from within your trust wallet, which is where you'll be shown your fees. Now, because this is on the Binance Smart Chain, these are nothing like the fees that you'll pay using Ethereum. And my network fee here is just 37 cents. Once that's gone through, I can then check my trust wallet balance, where I can now see my updated Cake and Smart Chain BNB balances. Next, let's head back to PancakeSwap and take a look at adding liquidity. So if we head to the liquidity tab now, which is next to Swap, this is where you can start earning those fees that we had to pay when we were exchanging. I'll just press on to add liquidity. And I'll be adding liquidity for both BNB and Cake. And you can then enter the amount that you'd like to supply, or you can click onto the max button in either input field. When you do, the equal share will then populate in the other box. This is because you'll need to deposit an equal share of tokens into the pool. And you may need to play around with these amounts a little bit too, as you'll need to save some BNB to pay for any further fees. You then see the prices in the pool share and the share of the pool that you'll have after supplying the pool. And you'll need to approve the transaction within your wallet before you confirm your supply. And you'll need to pay your gas fees in BNB here again. Once that transaction is complete, you can then press on to supply, confirm supply, and then also confirming that transaction in your wallet again. Now, when you add liquidity, you receive pool tokens called liquidity provider or LP tokens. And these tokens essentially track your contribution to the pool and you'll earn fees proportional to your share of the pool, which can be redeemed at any time. The liquidity that you provide is then used when someone makes a trade in this example of BNB and Cake on Pancake Swap. Therefore, it is worth mentioning that the ratio of your tokens might change over time, meaning that you could end up with more BNB or more cake, depending on the way that people are trading. Then if we head across to the farm in here, you can deposit and stake your LP tokens or your liquidity provider tokens to earn. And this will obviously depend on the type of LP tokens that you have, which have varying APRs, with some as high as 1,400%. However, I have Cake and BNB LP tokens, and I'll get 56.6% APR. So if I press onto there, then again, you'll need to approve the contract by choosing to enable farm if you've not already done this before. Plus, you'll need to pay that fee. Once that's complete, I can stake my LP tokens, and it shows you my balance here, and I can manually enter in the amount that I want to stake, or I can click onto max to stake them all. Then confirm. Again, confirming this in your wallet and paying your fees. And you can view further details here, showing the amount staked. Plus, you can also harvest your tokens from here when they become available to claim. And these will obviously build up over time. You then have the option to stake more LP tokens if you have some more to deposit by clicking onto the plus icon. Or you can unstake your tokens at any time with no lockups. So, so far, what we've done is we've swapped our tokens, then we've deposited some funds to receive LP tokens, which we then use to farm cake. But say, for example, some time has passed and you want to stop staking and remove liquidity. Well, I'll show you that now before we move across to the pools. So if we press on to the state only farms using the tap of the top of the screen, this will help you to easily find your state LP tokens. Then I'm going to unstake from here by clicking onto the minus icon. I'll unstake all of my tokens by clicking onto max. Then confirm. So now I've unstaked, what I'll do now is take a look at removing my liquidity. So if I head back to trade on the left hand side of the screen, and then the liquidity tab. You'll then see your liquidity in the bottom half of the screen, and there's an option to remove here. So you can use the slider to choose how much you'd like to remove, or you can choose a percentage or max. And it'll tell you how much you're removing and the prices in here, 
which we'll need to approve first. Then we can remove and confirm that. Once that's complete, our liquidity will then be removed and we'll have our cake and our smart chain BNB tokens back in our trust wallet. But back over on PancakeSwap, I'll show you how to simply stake your tokens to earn and that's under the pulls tab. And you'll see there's an auto cake bounty at the top here, which is given as a reward for providing a service to other users and you can claim that from here. When it comes to staking in their syrup pools, there's a few different options here with some high APRs. You can automatically restake your cake with rates of 136%. You can stake and earn cake, or you can stake cake and earn lots of different types of tokens. And you'll obviously need some cake to stake, which you can trade for using the methods that we just looked at. Or you could wait for your rewards to build up from staking your LP tokens if you're still in that liquidity pool. And all you need to do to start staking is to enable. And then you can stake in the cake vault by choosing the amount that you'd like to stake and then confirming. Okay, so that's all our staking and our earning and our swapping done for now. But what else can you do within PancakeSwap? Well, the next thing we'll take a look at is the lottery. Each lottery session takes six hours with a ticket costing 10 cake. And this gives you a random four digit combination of numbers between one and 14. To win the jackpot, which is 50% of the entire lottery pool, the numbers in your ticket need to match all four numbers in the same position as the winning ticket. If your numbers don't match all four, you can also win rewards if two or more of your numbers are in the same position as the numbers on the winning ticket. And there's also collectibles with NFTs on the Binance Smart Chain. Plus there's also some other options on the left hand side, such as options of moving from light to dark mode. But that completes how you can connect your trust wallet to PancakeSwap. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.